Hi, I'm Nancy Cohen from Global Suns. You can find more of the information on this following teaching at suns.global. Today I'm going to be talking to you about the restoration and the reestablishment of the priesthood of Melchizedek. This is part of a three-part series that you can only find on suns.global. Um, in the very beginning, when the Lord first began to speak to me about the order of Melchizedek, I was so curious about it that he actually picked me up and took me back in the spirit, and I actually sat under the original Melchizedek. At that particular time, um, I noticed something very strange, and that is he had on himself an ephod which he had made for himself. Now remember that Melchizedek appeared in the earth before the priesthood was ever established, and Levi and Aaron were still in the loins of their father, meaning that the fact that he even had an ephod was amazing to me. But on the front of this ephod were triple concentric circles. As soon as I saw that, I almost freaked out because since I've been about three years old, I've been seeing these triple concentric circles coming down from the heavens and settling over the heads of people that had great level of authority, whether it's in, either in the earthly realm or in the spiritual realm. And of course, at three years old, I had no idea what any of this meant. So uh, when I saw the triple concentric circles on his ephod, I inquired, why triple concentric circles? And the answer to that question was, these triple concentric circles uh, actually contain the pilgrimage of the human spirit from the day it leaves God to come to the earth to the day that it is completely perfected in him. When he began to lay out these, the, the teaching concerning these three concentric circles, is what I'm going to present to you today. The word says, to some is given 30, to some is given 60, to some is given 100. Now, if you were only a second grade math student and you were given a, spirit, a, a, a mathematical progression, 30, 60 blank, and you put 100 in there, you would get it wrong because the logical progression would be 30, 60, 90. Uh, this 10% actually represents the, the people that God is now calling out of the levels or the foundations of the church to begin to establish uh, the levels and the foundations of the kingdom of God, which is even now unfolding in the earth as we speak. We've left the age of the church and effectively let, entered the age of the kingdom. So today I would just want to talk to you about our spiritual progression according to the triple concentric circles of Melchizedek. If you look at the 30 being in the outside, here's where we're going to start doing the, the PowerPoints, okay? If you look at the 30 being on the outside, the 60 being on the inside circle, and the 100 being in the targeted position in the middle, we can say, and I can prove to you scripturally speaking, every three of God fits into this schematic. Uh, for instance, in Melchizedek's statement was they each represent one of the three baptisms. So the 30 represents the baptism of water, the 60 represents the baptism of spirit, the 100 represents the baptism of fire. The 30 represents salvation, the 60 represents sanctification, and the 100 represents purification. The 30 represents the body, the 60 represents the soul, the 100 represents the spirit. The 30 represents outer court experience, the 60 represents the inner court experience, the 100 represents stepping into the holy of holies. The 30 stands for the first day, the 60 stands for the second day, the 100 stands for the third day. I have many, many things that have happened in my life on the quote unquote third day. Right now, the body of Christ is entering something called the third day. In the calendar of God, uh, he says a thousand years on earth is like one day in the calendar of God. 
We've had 2,000 years since the time of Christ's crucifixion. And somewhere around the year 2000, we stepped out of the second day into the third day because 3,000 years would represent the third day in the calendar of God. So we're now stepping into something called the third day. Um, we, the 30 would stand for the first heaven. The 60 would stand for second heaven expression, which would uh, be relevant to the spiritual warfare climate that we are now exiting and entering into third heaven expression. One of the things that the Lord showed me early on, I was caught up into the heavens and I was watching along about the arena of the moon, looking downward on the earth. And I saw that there were three nets covering the earth. We have in the first heaven, something called the internet, which is the uh, human communications network, where you can get a whole lot of download of a whole lot of information. Over the top of the internet, in the second heaven, we have something called the intranet. And the intranet appeared to me at the time uh, being black, but it had black tarry substances moving through it and around it. And I said, Lord, what is this? And he said, this is the second heaven uh, communication network of the powers of darkness and the residing place of the rulers and principalities that control earthbound demons. Uh, the residing place in the second heaven is called the Kellipods, and the Kellipods are where you would find the net or the nexus or the center of the communication positions of darkness. Over the top of that, there was something that was bright blue-white, and it was called the exonet, and the exonet represented the communication network of heaven. This exonet is now being released into the earth, and all over the earth we are seeing ecclesias being raised up to supernaturally connect with other people in the earth to bring down uh, technologies that come by divine inspiration, to produce divine appointments all over the earth. Those things are coming into position right now at this time. So the 30 stands for our limitation to functioning in the natural realm, which is the earthly realm. The 60 stands for the second realm, which is the reason why we had a prolonged period of spiritual warfare. Actually, what the Lord showed me was that when Satan fell or Lucifer fell from heaven, he took with him a mystery that has been hidden since the very beginning. That mystery is that every note in the musical scale opens up a different door in the heavens. Therefore, in the uh, human understanding, we have uh, in each octave, we have seven notes, with the eighth note being the beginning of the next octave. If you add the sharps and flats, you would have 12 notes. Seven notes is for perfection. Twelve notes is for government. So basically what the word of the Lord is, when we tap into understanding the frequencies and the sounds of heaven, which is what Lucifer was archangel of in the beginning until he fell, once we begin to understand that, the technology to produce, number one, perfection in government is already being established. And that happens through our voice, which is also a frequency that can circumvent the globe and produce God's, the unfolding of God's sovereign plan, not only for the earth, but for the whole of the universe. So the 30 stands for, number one, seeing the kingdom. Number two, the 60 stands for possessing the kingdom. And the 100 stands for manifesting the kingdom. The word says, if we don't confess with our mouth and believe in our heart, we cannot see the kingdom of God. But the instant that we confess and believe, we have the capacity to see the kingdom. But seeing the kingdom is radically, radically different than possessing the kingdom. Possessing the kingdom means that we take authority uh, over the things of darkness in order to bring down kingdom paradigms into the earth. Possessing the kingdom is radically different, however, than manifesting the kingdom. And we are in a process right now of beginning that manifestation. 
The word says, your eye has not yet seen, your ear has not yet heard, neither has it entered into your heart or into your mind, the great, huge, magnificent things that I have prepared for you. Hi, I'm Nancy. I just want to thank you for joining us today. If you enjoyed what you heard, like and subscribe our YouTube channel. And if you're interested in lengthy, deeper teachings concerning the mysteries of God, contact us at sons.global and partner with us as we become co-workers and co-creators together with God for the establishment of His kingdom and His righteousness in all the earth.